What is going on, guys? It's your boy Nitro Zamaki. Two, two, six, six, one in the damn house, guys. Got a lot of shit today, gang. Yeah. Got a lot of shit today. You know what? We got so much shit that I may even upload not just one, but two videos today. I'm around. I may even upload three. All right, three. All right, yeah, yeah. Nitro, don't get their hopes up. Got Sonic Frontiers. And Sonic Frontiers is. You know, cooled off in terms of the news coming out and stuff, but now we just got a flood. We have a flood of news, we have a new zone, an official trailer thing, recap thing for the new zone. And I'm gonna check this out right now, guys. And you know what else you gotta check out? That damn subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers, guys. We'll help us to get 3,000 subscribers by the end of October. And yeah, guys, let me tell you, when that shit hits November, the amount of content that is gonna be on this channel, the amount of shit, all this shit. Oh, whoa, 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 listen, wait, hey, hey, calm down, calm down, I know you're excited, but damn, make the screen go big before you clip this shit. Alright. Travel and accommodation for this preview provided by SEGA! Oh, okay, was somebody talking? I came away with an overall positive first impression, okay. but also a feeling that there was still a good bit of work to be done. Mmm, okay. Mm. Didn't feel optimized. This is footage from May 2022. Okay, the the footage didn't feel optimized. What else? What? Else? Oh, I don't know if you can hear. What? 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 what what's his name? Matt. We're all positive first impression, but also first preview. Mitchell. What? What? What else, Mitchell? Oh, whoa, whoa. Here we are, five months later, and I got a chance to go hands on again with a PC build of Sonic. So freaking lucky. This time for a full six hours. Six hours. God damn. Entirety. And You've while a lot of those first. same issues I experienced the first time I played are still present, the pop-in and a handful of minor bugs, it is clear that a lot of work has gone into tightening up. See, the here's the thing about game. I'm not talking about Mitchell, by the way, Mitchell, you're good, Mitchell. You 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 good, Mitch. But here's the thing what I'm talking about. When people what as soon as people find a glitch or a bug, and this is not I'm not only talking about Sonic Frontiers, I'm talking about all games nowadays. Oh, this game is ass! I'm not talking about Mitchell again, but Hey, this game is ass. There's a there's a there's a glitch and a bug. Guys, there's always been glitches and bugs and and like games like that came out, bro. There's always like for years, there, like there's always been a glitch and a bug in the game. Like, not they're not gonna nobody's gonna make a, a game perfect like a perfect perfectly fine game that has no glitches or bugs at all. Every game that comes out is going to have some sort of glitch, some sort of bug that you can find. It's just the reality of things. Back in the day, I used to look at these shit like, oh man, a glitch and a bug is so cool. Now it's everybody's like, oh, 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 that sounds like, what's her name, Glorilla? <laughs> When my time was up and all I thought about was the disappointment of not being able to play more. Oh, oh yeah, that's on the first half. <laughs> that Sonic for Tears is in a pretty healthy spot. Okay. Into its imminent November 8th release. November 8th. The final preview written by Mitchell Saltzman. Saltzman. I love this song. This song right here, bro. And you know you got the people complaining. Oh, the song is just so calming and soothing and, and calming and soothing. And then, 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 shut your ass up. Shut up. Shut up. This time around versus my first play session was the full sense of progression through each island. I've talked previously about how you need to collect portal keys. Oh, training simulator. Oh, you need portal keys? Yo, look at the... Oh, my God. But there's another important element to the game. What, what's the other element? Memory tokens. Mm. Each of the three islands was home to one of Sonic's friends who were trapped in cyberspace. And mm. Oh! Wait, did we notice already? Or uh, I needed to collect a ton of memory tokens. Typically, these are rewards for exploration in the open world. Okay. And they're the main reason you'll be looking out for springs. Oh, friends, collect Amy's memory tokens. So there's probably going to be Amy's memory token and Tails' memory token. But there's like four islands, right? So who's the other memory tokens for? That's a good question. And all other manner of gadgets that send you zooming through the world. Collecting and delivering these memory tokens back to your friend is one of the ways you'll progress Sonic Frontier's story forward. Every time I made a delivery, I was rewarded with a cutscene between Sonic and his trapped friend that would shed a little bit of light on the mysterious Starfall Islands and the cute little native rock people known as Korons and Yo, this is an oh, this is a new place that serves as the heart of Sonic Frontier's story. 
and I found myself very interested in seeing how it all unfolds. Yo, guys, I can't wait to play this shit, bro. Like, we've been doing a lot of reactions and shit. It's because, bro, there's no games that are out, bro. There's no games that, like, games have been really dry, bro. But now, shit is about to turn up, like... You don't know. If you guys are new, you don't know. Nitro back in the day, he was a gamer. He was a gamer. And we're going back to gamer mode. In the dynamics between Sonic and each of his friends, which really takes center stage during these cutscenes. Each island has a story to tell, with each of Sonic's friends being a key player in how that story unfolds. I managed to clear the first island in my first three hours or so. Three hours in the first island? Oh my gosh. I'm probably going to take six. Shit. I'm probably gonna take six hours, bro. Yo, guys, when I play this game, bro, I don't know how many videos I'm gonna have on the. Damn, this is gonna be a long ass. Yo, guys, am I finally gonna be able to complete a game on camera? Am I gonna finally be able to complete a game? A desert themed island that housed all new enemies, mini bosses, cyberspace levels, and memory tokens. Here, I had to repeat the hunt for the Chaos Emeralds again. In that way, Sonic Frontiers is very formulaic. But the three islands I've explored so far were so different that I was happy to repeat the dance each time. Mmm, repeat the dance. Formula are the Guardian mini -bosses. Knuckles! Look, talk to Knuckles. Oh, shit. In order to obtain the portal keys that unlock the cyberspace. Shark. We have a shark, shark in the middle of the ground. Grand in their spectacle, but are rarely actually fun to play. And worse, they're repeated multiple times throughout the island without any variation. Fortunately, there are a few exceptions, like a fight against a sumo guardian that encloses you in a cage. Okay. And you to bounce off the fences in order to bump the boss into the electric. Like you gotta literally bounce your ass. The more force you're able to bump the boss with, and trying to find the right angle to bounce a bunch of times before hitting. Sonic the boss. done change, bro. Sonic done change. This is this used to be Sonic. Space levels, which, like the guardian mini bosses, varied in their quality, but were all fun nevertheless. Each is a bite-sized traditional Sonic level that comes with three sub-challenges to complete, in addition to just beating the stage. They are beat the level under the oh time limit, beat the level with a certain Oh, they got time limit shit. And find all five red coins. Oh, they got the red coin. That's the red ring, my boy. That's not a coin, but that's a that's a red ring, my boy. By Sonic standards, I found that the short length of each one actually lent itself well to how replayable they were. I would retry some I'm of so them for hot. 10 or 15 minutes, trying to find the optimum path that would get me to the exit in time mm. for this to clear, mm. or trying to find that last red coin, Juicy. or simply to try and see all the different paths nice. that offered. From a level design perspective, the variety on display in the many different cyberspace levels that I played was pretty impressive. Some would be very straightforward, grounded boost levels, focused on speed and reactions, while others would be very grind rail heavy, and still others would shift the perspective to 2D. Guys. Look, is that windmill aisle? Yo, Sonic really outside. He got all the street signs and shit. Yo. Hands down, the best cyberspace stage that I played Green Hill? was one that broke the tradition of being a short bite-sized level and was stretched out to about two or three minutes in length. What? Oh. One was stretched out to about two to three minutes of length. What do we gotta say now? What do we gotta say now for the cyberspace is? Oh, they only did it with one level. Yeah, yeah, they only did it with one level. Hey, hey. That's what they're gonna say. They only did it with one level. Uh. Let's see what he gotta say. What stage was it? Stretched out to about two or three minutes in length and had a bunch of hidden shortcuts off the beaten path that were a ton of fun to That's Green Hill he's talking as about. As the level design is, though, the one disappointment about cyberspace is that the visual theme around them based on my six hours of playtime, always falls into one of just a few categories. Green Hill Zone, Chemical Plant Zone, Sky Temple, or the new Cyberspace Highway theme, and that's about it. Oh, so there's different variations of the stages. made them a consistent highlight. I don't even give a shit, bro. I just want to play. The time spent playing Sonic Frontiers was spent running fast through the various open zones, and while it is a big departure from what Sonic fans may be used to from the series, I have to say that I'm it's refreshing. fully on board with it. In a weird way, I kind of liken it to a Tony Hawk game. It's that same feeling of chaining a revert to a manual, Shinobi. that to a grind, taking that grind over a gap, acing a special track. Gotta put some hours into the game. Landing. Sonic Frontiers has that same type of feeling of doing a bunch of cool things, one after the other, and linking them all together without breaking the flow. And when the flow does get broken, it feels pretty bad. But the more you play and the better you become at the game, the longer you're able to go without breaking that flow. What flow is he talking about? Feeling not just a power progression through the game mechanics, 
but also from your own skill. It's also worth mentioning that in the beginning of the game, Sonic does feel a bit slow in comparison to other games in the series. Mm. However, his speed can be leveled up all the way to level Hey, 99. at least he's faster than Lost World. Lost World is like by far the That's slowest Sonic I've seen, seen in my life. And considering he already felt pretty fast, even at just that relatively low level, I can't imagine how fast he'll be at max level. Yo, at, yo, okay. Yeah, this is the thing I could just say. The pop in is like... And yeah, you see that? Like how? Look, look. See, like how this just pops in? It's like, uh, it kind of looks nasty. Stay tuned for our full Sonic Frontiers review closer to the launch. And if you want to see what I previously said about Sonic Frontiers, check out my previous preview. Oh. Six minutes of Chaos Island gameplay. Did I react to the wrong video? Yeah, guys, that was a good, that was some good shit. I like you, I like you, I like you, I like you. I like what I'm seeing, I don't like what I mean. Guys, stay tuned when we play this shit, guys. When we, we really gonna be playing this shit. Like, we gonna be playing this shit on the channel on, on November 8th. Oh, November 8th is a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. I got to go to school. No, you don't. It's President's Day. It's President's Day on the 8th. So guess what? Dun, 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 dun. Yo, when Sonic Frontiers goes out, I'm dropping like two to three videos per day. Fuck!